Hey guys and welcome to day three of our three day video series and in today's video it's all about lifestyle. Creating a lifestyle that's going to allow you to move towards your goals, becoming healthier, dropping body fat, improving your confidence and even gaining more energy. So some of these tips may seem obvious, but it's amazing how many people just don't do them. And the change that they can have, the positive change that you will have on your day-to-day -day life and your ability to stay consistent with your fat loss goals is amazing. So the first one is sleep, rest, and recovery. Most people are just not sleeping enough. They haven't got a regime that is supporting them to recover well, to then go again the next day. So what I say is create a bed time. The time you wanna be going to sleep and the time you have to get up at and stick to it. Start building that in from day to day. And also with that, start looking at a pre-bed routine. 45 minutes to an hour out from where you wanna be asleep, start to shut down. Get rid of glare from screens, phones, laptops, TVs. Start picking up a book, have a nice warm shower, decaffeinated hot chocolate, something like that. So you start to bring your body down and prepare yourself for sleep so you get better quality of sleep. Now number two is get hydrated. Sounds simple, but most people don't do this. And this can have a significant effect on your energy levels, concentration, better sleep, and your ability to train, all right? So look to consume anywhere between two and three liters per day, and this might be something that you can start gradually building up over time. If you are training on that day, you may look to move towards more three liters. If you're more sedentary on that day, you could probably work to more two liters, but get hydrated. Now, lifestyle tip number three is downtime. It's all well and good as saying we're gonna do this, we're gonna train, we're gonna make changes to our nutrition, we're gonna move more, we're gonna get hydrated, we're gonna sleep more, but you have to have balance. So what you need to do is create time within the week where it's your time, downtime. Do something you really enjoy, whether it's going for a walk, reading a book, doing an activity. It's so, so important for you to stay consistent for longer that you have this time, time away for yourself. This creates, as I said, balance and your better opportunity to stay consistent for longer. Sorry guys, I had to add this in, number four, and it's journaling and meditation. Now this is huge and it's transformed our clients' lives once they start to implement this. Creating 10 extra minutes in the morning to get up a little bit earlier and just meditate for 10 minutes. This can be guided meditation, there's many apps out there, but this is, will allow you to declutter your mind and refocus daily on the things that really matter to you. And the next one is journaling, and this is journaling about the things that you're grateful for. It can be so easy to forget about the things that we're grateful for. And we're always looking for the next thing, what we need to achieve, which is great, but we sometimes if not all the time, need to remind ourselves of the great things we've already achieved and the things that we have already in our life. You're gonna be going into your day a lot happier, calmer, and a lot more motivated. 